Hello and welcome to yet another Android tutorial video. In this video, we will be learning about the new Splash King API and how we can implement it in our existing Android project. My name is Jero and without wasting more time, let's get into this video. So, let's first head to the documentation so we can both follow along on how to implement it. A quick history about Android Splash King implementation. A Splash King was first implemented by creating a Splash activity as a launcher activity. And on this layout view, a design was made that would present the layout of a splash screen. And in the activity file, a timer was created with a user defined delay, and within that time, some actions could be performed. The downside to this was that a blank screen will appear before the layout file will be loaded, and also making a user wait is not good user experience. So, a follow up to this solution, and also the most widely used approach, was to get rid of a splash activity layout file and in its place set a drawable window background to the splash activity team. And in the activity, Run some methods, and as soon as they complete, you leave the splash screen if you have work to do on the app startup. Else, you just provide an intent to the next activity which you want to display. This eliminated the issue of a blank screen on app startup and a better UX because it doesn't force the users to wait after the app has been fully loaded. So, now with this newly introduced splash screen API in Android 12, it will make us write 99% less code than before. So, basically, we just have to create a style file which extends our app steam and pass parameters for the window background, an icon, and also an icon background with a bottom animation or text. So enough for the explanations and let's implement it into our project. So in the Android developers tutorial, where we'll come to a section saying elements and mechanics of the splash screen. Basically here we have an illustration of all the customizable items. We have the app icon, we have the window background. For the app icon it can be anywhere from 200 to 80 dp if you have an app icon background else if you don't have an app icon background you can go up to 288 by 288 dp first we start by adding an android vector icon which we should use as an app icon on the splash screen you can download an svg of your choice or you can head into the developers website and download the example starter kit then you come to drawable new vector asset select the find the directory and name it to ic logo I already have the logo here next we move into the module.app file where we we'll add a dependency for the splash screen api and build we then create a splash screen resource file under values new values resource file and we we'll name it flash Okay, in here we are going to create the theme for our splash screen. So, with the name of theme dot our default style name and splash for the parents, it will have a parent of team the splash screen very important we we'll close we'll add an item window splash screen background I'll give it a background of white next We'll give it an item with name, window, splash screen, animated icon, that's the app icon on a splash, that will be displayed on a splash screen, and I'll give it a reference to my IC logo. And finally, We'll give it is post splash screen team, which will be the team used after the team with splash screen has been exhausted. So we'll give it a default app team, which is this. Since we also want our app to support that mode, we'll create another drawable resource file. 
same name as flash but under available qualifiers we select night mode and add then we select night okay let's copy this and paste it into the night splash splash xml file and what will change is the color of the window background so for the night mode we want the black color so we now move into our manifest file and to the activity and to the main activity we'll give it the theme of the splash screen so theme of splash now finally we're heading into our main activity and after the long record and before the second term view we call install splash screen function now let's run this onto our emulator as you can see the logo and the splash background then it goes into our main activity with that default if we also switch so now let's switch to dark mode and see if our launcher if our splash screen would change okay on a And so you can see it successfully adapted to a dark mode theme. A big thanks to you if you watch this video to the end. I hope we could learn how to implement a splash can use it in new splash API. And if also you like me, a big thanks to you if you watch this video to the end. I hope you could learn how to implement a splash can use it in new splash can API. And if also like me, you find it easier to implement. Don't forget to like, subscribe and also share the video with your friends. Comment down in the section below if you have any questions and I will gladly answer them for you. The link to the repositories and any other additional resources that might be helpful to you can be found in the description below. And on this note, see you on another video. Bye.